Hitler's clowns in the country. Yeah, some are states. Front lights do not work. Let me show you what they actually said. I'll take you up here to the computer. This is what it says on the order. Click the notes and you guys can pause to read those. Funny part is, is the, the performing and exorcism. Sounds about right for a Chrysler product. No, I'm not hating on Chrysler. Because I've owned a couple myself. And ain't this thing beautiful. We gotta work on that sometime soon. Just got here. We also gotta find out who it belongs to because they dropped it off with a uh, no phone number. I mean, we got their name, just no number. Put off the dropout slip, just no phone number. All right, back to the complaint. So let's turn the key on, turn the headlights on. Come over here, nothing. The turn signal's on. Start blinking slow. And then fast. But yet, still nothing. Everything works in the rear as it should, and that's going to blink fast because the fronts are not working. I've owned a lot of these Chryslers, and it's probably a grounding issue. I'm going to reach down in here and do the bulbs. And I'm going to add my own grounds. I'll be back when that's done, which for you guys will be an instant. All right, so we tapped in, got some temporary grounds ran. Let's go turn on our lights. All right. Oh, look at there. We got our lights back. This one's not working. That one. Yeah, so let's reach down here. That one looks like a bad bulb. Well, let's put a new one in it. Oh, look at there. Let there be light. Now it's time to test the turn signal. Decker, left turn. All right. Right turn. All right. This thing already had high beams, but hit the high beams. Yeah. He just flashed us. i be doing that stuff in the workplace. So, I mean, the customer was kind of on the right track. Because tip-ums are usually a common issue on most of these but what had me thinking grounds was the rear lights were working so yeah we could take a brief look and figure out where the grounds are broken at or since it's a ground you can just tap in and run a new ground anywhere onto the body all right so we found the issue which is right in this vicinity here there's a bunch of ground wires in this corner of that bolt underneath the tip them which if i move this wire you can see there's a stud, which is right there. So now we should be able to just hook this up and have all of our lights back. So no new running, no ground overlays or anything. We found the exact cause. Which you can see here, remove ground, everything goes away. Also, someone should definitely do that. I mean, this person has. That looks cool.